This is awful. Why are they saying things about me? Why aren't teachers stopping this? Isn't he too old for this? What am I supposed to do? Only guys bully. Physical bullies use force and body strength to overpower their victims. Physical bullying can include kicking, hitting, punching, or other physical attacks. This type of bullying is easier than others. Relational bullies work to damage a victim's social status and relationships. Relational bullying is common among girls, especially teen girls. Bullies who practice relational bullying often do it to increase their own social standing or to control others. This type of bullying may go on for some time before an adult notices. A reactive bully incessantly taunts a peer until the peer snaps and reacts with physical or verbal aggression. Reactive bullying may be the most difficult type of bullying to identify. This is because reactive bullies tend to be victims of bullying as well. Verbal bullying. Verbal bullies intimidate and harm their victims using words. Verbal bullying includes the use of relentless insults and teasing and may include making fun of a peer's lack of physical capabilities, appearance, and other characteristics. This type of bullying may go unnoticed and unreported for long periods of time. Cyberbullies use electronic forms such as email, cell phones, and social networking sites to harass their victims. Cyberbullying allows the bully to remain anonymous it is easier to bully in cyberspace than it is face to face. Over 25% of adolescents have been bullied repeatedly through their cell phones or the internet. Nothing can be done at school to reduce bullying. School initiative to prevent and stop bullying have reduced bullying by 15 to 50%. The most successful initiatives involve the entire school community of teachers, staff, parents, students, and community members. Only boys bully. People think that physical bullying by boys is the most common form of bullying. However, verbal, social, and physical bullying happens among both boys and girls, especially as they grow older. People who bully have power over those they bully. People who bully others usually pick on those who have less social power popularity, psychological power, know how to harm others, or physical power, size, and strength. Although sometimes, those who bully have been bullied by others. All kids will outgrow bullying. For some, bullying continues, and as they become older, unless someone intervenes, the bullying will likely to continue, and in some cases, grow into violence and other serious problems. Children who consistently bully others often continue their aggressive behavior throughout adolescence and into adulthood. People who bully are insecure and have low self-esteem. Many people who bully are popular and have average or better than average self-esteem. They often take pride in their aggressive behavior and control over the people they bully. People who bully may be part of a group that thinks bullying is okay. Some people who bully may also have poor social skills and experience anxiety or depression. For them, bullying can be a way to gain social status. Spreading rumors is a form of bullying. 
Fact. Spreading rumors, name-calling, excluding others, and embarrassing them are all forms of social bullying that can cause serious or lasting harm. Bullying often resolves itself when you ignore it. Myth. Bullying reflects an imbalance of power that happens again and again. Ignoring the bullying teaches students who bully that they can bully others without consequences. Adults and other students need to stand up for children who are bullied and to ensure they are protected and safe. Bullying usually occurs when there is no other students around. Myth. Students see about four out of every five bullying incidents at school. In fact, when they witness bullying, they give the student who is bullying positive attention or even join in about three quarters of the time. Although nine out of ten students say there is bullying in their schools, adults rarely see the bullying, even if they are looking for it. Parents are usually aware that their children are bullying others. Myth. Parents play a critical role in bullying prevention, but they often do not know if their children bully or are bullied by others. To help prevent bullying, parents need to talk with their children about what is happening at school and in the community. Teachers often intervene to stop bullying. Myth. Adults do not witness bullying despite their good intentions. Teachers intervene in only 14% of classroom bullying episodes and in 4% of bullying incidents that happen outside the classroom. Reporting bullying will make the situation worse. Myth. Research shows that children who report bullying to an adult are less likely to experience bullying in the future. Adults should encourage children to help keep their school safe and to tell an adult when they see bullying. There is just one type of bullying. Myth. There are several types of bullying, including physical bullying, verbal bullying, relational bullying, reactive bullying, and cyberbullying.